before I go. Is Sorry. <laughs> Making a run at it, aren't you? Rolling up a stake and going to Vegas. Welcome to the number one poker radio show in the world. This is the Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. One full hour of poker news, entertainment, and lots of Sin City surprises. Now, let's bring on the host. Here is Mark Hoke. Instant bracelet winner alert. Instant bracelet winner alert on the Mark Hoke Show. Gotta love it. Andrew Lickenberg, Lucky Chewy. Gold is on the wrist. Congratulations to you, sir. No problem. Hey, uh, and of course, we're on the Mark Hoke Show here live at the World Series of Poker. And uh, let me just pull my notes up here real quick because, you know, we were we were watching this pretty closely out here in the hallway. The Event 52 $3,000 No Limit Hold'em. Had to come back for an extra day. A little bonus poker for you, sir. Yeah, yeah, we did. But came in with the lead, took a little hit early on, and then, well, you sent the Aussie packing. <laughs> yeah, I uh, felt really comfortable and calm today. And, uh, yeah, initially I just lost a few pots where uh, he just got the better of me. Um, but, yeah, it didn't let it discourage me. And, yeah, it all worked out. You are so calm and cool under pressure, dude. Thanks, I mean, man. it's amazing. I know you do all sorts of stuff to, to work on that, too. Now, what are, what are some of the things that you do to kind of keep yourself at that even calm, cool level? Um, I think that uh, if you can put yourself in a state of calm when you're not under any stress, when you're just living your daily life, uh, and like specifically using breath control, yoga, meditation to uh, attain that mindset, then when you do get in a high-pressure situation, it's easy kind of for your or easier for your mind to draw back on the empirical experiences it's had. Good point. And then, yeah, just it fits very nicely for times like that. I know how long this quest has been going on for you to win this bracelet. I mean, it has been years and years. <laughs> uh, what was it, like 36 caches or something like that? I can't remember the exact number you've had at the World Series so far. <laughs> and that last card hits. It's finally over. What is going through your mind at that point? Uh... It is kind of surreal just because the World Series gets so much hype and I knew about it when I was a kid and in many ways the moneymaker experience is what inspired me to start playing poker uh, just as a hobby initially and then seriously thereafter. So yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to really describe, but it feels great. I would recommend it to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, I mean, your career has been so great. I mean, online and live, you've, you've done so much. And, you know, I, I mean, does this kind of feel like a culmination of something because i know you know ryan laplante went through the same thing mm. you know ryan has been grinding away for years and years and done so well and finally won you know what does it feel like to you now that that is finally out of the way yeah it uh it's a really special experience it is i guess uh nice to as they say have the horse off your back is that the monkey they say monkey off your back yeah it's probably a horse <laughs> at this point for you though man but. yeah um but yeah i mean i'm just gonna keep playing poker because i I love it. I, I truly do love the game, and it's fun to um, practice your present moment awareness and make good decisions. And the people in poker are great. The community is wonderful. Uh, I love all the friendships I've made and just the people from all over the world I've gotten to meet. So, no. yeah, I'll still be in there. Well, <laughs> now you get to celebrate and say Andrew Lichtenberger World Series of Poker bracelet winner finally after all this time. I am so happy for you, brother. You. I really am. Thank you. I, I very much appreciate it, Mark. No problem. Well, you guys, I know you guys were headed somewhere there. Were you yeah. getting, getting money? Uh, we're going to go get lunch at uh, Violet's Vegans, the uh, oh. poker player's restaurant. There you go. Yeah. Well, that sounds like fun. So good way to celebrate. Yeah. All right, buddy. Well, I'll let you guys get rolling. Cool. Congratulations so to you. And you know, maybe we'll pick up another one before it's all over. Maybe. That'd be maybe. all right. <laughs> well, I'm so proud of you, Andrew. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll see you. There you go. Lucky Chewy, everybody. Putting it on the board. Let's give him a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> and make sure you get a picture from the World Series of Poker team over there. <laughs> no, but what, I'll tell you what, one of the nicest guys in the game, thrilled to see him put a World Series of Poker bracelet. Oh, man. That is just terrific. Yeah. And, and that's part of the fun of doing this show over the years. You know, we've had 
so many guys, you know, coming out. Like I remember Tyler Patterson when he won his first bracelet. You know, he was just bouncing off the walls, and you know, you're probably not going to get that from Lucky Chewy, but that's that's about as much expression as you're going to see out of the guy. I'm so proud of him, and uh, you know, he and Ryan Laplante. That's two great stories here at the World Series of Poker, putting down the putting down the title. Wow, that and actually that just happened a little while ago. Uh, Thirty three caches, excuse me. He's got two million, had two million three hundred. Well, actually, it looks like they just, yeah, they just updated that, sort of. No, actually, they didn't. Um, yeah, they did. So that puts Lucky Chewy over the $2.3 million mark here at the World Series in uh, WSOP between circuit events and this. No, actually, it's just WSOP. Excuse me. $2.3 million, Not bad. He scored $569,158. bucks. that will buy you a lot of yoga lessons. That's a great win. So happy for Andrew. So he knocks off Craig Blight today. They had to go overtime this afternoon. But Lucky Chewy manages to put that away and wins event number 52. Way to go, big man. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's you know, let's just give you some updates while we're digging into it. Uh, we mentioned event 50 yesterday. Sofia Umarova from Los Angeles winning the second bracelet for the ladies. Excuse me. In an open event this series, she knocked off Neal Farrell. That's another guy who has put together a terrific WSOP resume. 28 caches for him without a bracelet, but he is runner-up again here at the World Series of Poker. Event number 51, the $10,000 eight-handed pot limit Omaha championship. Got to say hi to him a little while ago, too. Brandon Shaq Harris knocks off Lauren Klein, denying Klein a second bracelet in this World Series. Shaq, Brandon, of course, out of Chicago, puts together the win in the 10K eight-handed pot limit Omaha championship. Eight hundred and ninety-four thousand three hundred dollars for that win, and that will be his uh, listed as his second bracelet. I thought that was his third. I mean, I could be wrong. I guess. Yeah. It's okay. It's his second. My bad. Uh, but uh, Brandon Shaq Harris scores another World Series of Poker bracelet, taking home event number fifty-one yesterday. We just had fifty-two wrap up. Uh, event number 53, that is the Pot Limit Omaha Tournament, or uh, excuse me, 1500 Mixed PLO 8, Omaha 8, and Big O Tournament. Gavin Smith came in with a pretty sizable lead, it was about 700,000. He is, his lead is now down to about 445,000, or 435,000, as uh, Keith Ferreira is out. Ferreira has fallen. They had to come back for a day four. Ferreira standing, uh, knocked out in fifth place. It is now Gavin Smith, Alan Lee, Cody Crouch, and Philip Irish. Irish? Uh, I'm going to have to go with it, the, a German player there. Uh, who he's facing off with, Alan Lee. That's another guy that's looking to get off the schneid. He has 29 World Series of Poker caches, no bracelets. So Lee trying to bring it. Uh, Bring his first bracelet home, Cody Crouch. There's a name, uh, you know. Some of us, you know, a lot of the guys on the uh, out there have heard before. Uh, he is looking for his first World Series of Poker bracelet. Uh, also in the hunt is Irish, who has no World Series of Poker results. That would seem to set up pretty well for Gavin Smith, but Alan Lee, right in there, uh, trying to hold off Gavin. Great friend of the show, and you know, has really cleaned up his act. Uh, 30, he has, of course, Gavin, 36 WSOP caches, has one bracelet. It's one over a million dollars down here, of course. Ole Smith looking to try and win that title with four to go. Uh, punch around here to event number 55. The Poker Players Championship underway yesterday. That got started at 3 o'clock, and we have only lost five players in that one so far. Of course, you know, everybody kind of kicking back, taking it easy. Brian Hastings. Uh, has just gone down here. They started off the day with 88. And at the top of that board at the moment, of course, still a very tight-knit pack. But Scott Siever is out in front, 593,000. And, oh, Lord, look who's uh, got himself some chips early. Michael Mizraki, who's, uh, yeah, he knows how to win this tournament. He's done it twice, is at 560. Timofey Kuznets Kuznetsov. At 557.6. And Robert Mizraki right up there, too. Of course, we remember uh, those two guys dueled on this thing before. Uh, Mizraki up there at 540. Brian Rast at 563, rounding out the top five in that one. So, you know, of course, uh, great names John Manette, uh, Anthony Zeno, uh, Daniel Lai, Jason Mercier. 
And Mercier, you know, this uh, may be one of his best chances to pick up that third bracelet. He's trying to get it done. He's at 384. Benny Glazer's got two bracelets in the series already. Todd Brunson with a couple final tables. Scotty Wynn in there. James Opes, who continues to quest for his first bracelet. Uh, Daniel McGround, a lot of terrific players hanging around in the 50K Poker Players Championship as a play uh, into day two on that one. Still a long way to go. Bet number 56, that one kicked off yesterday and or today excuse me fifteen hundred dollar uh, excuse me a fifteen hundred dollar no limit hold them uh ryan laplante listed up there uh, of course uh, matt affleck in there uh umarova looking to try and win another bracelet she's in the field uh who else got lee childs and of course a ton of players in there so some bracelet hunting going on in that one We'll get to the crazy eights in just a second. And coming up here in about 19 minutes, we're going to be kicking off the $1,500 Pot Limit Omaha High Low Split Eight or Better. Should be a terrific event on that one. So looking forward to a nice turnout for that PLO tournament as the fireworks will be going off here. They, they've already been going off all over Las Vegas. It's been pretty crazy out here. But a uh, great 4th of July weekend. Should be pretty cool. And let's go to and let's pull up that uh, crazy eights tournament right now. And get the get the results on that so far. Of course, all the day ones wrapped up yesterday, and this is unbelievable. Six thousand seven hundred sixty-one entrants, one hundred and sixty-eight players left. <laughs> Talk about a bloodletting! Oh my God, it's like the red wedding in uh, Game of Thrones. There, Francis Anderson leads the way at five hundred eighty-five thousand. Vlad Dari from Romania. Let's get the Romanians in on the action at 532. Andy Spears, 499. Steven Tab at 466. Lonnie Harwood, a big start for her, 445. Uh, Mark Levinson, 432. Brandon Ian from Henderson, right uh, outside of Las Vegas here at 429. Ryan Hall, 420. Ruman Navev from Bulgaria at 420. And Muhammad Abdel Rahim rounding out the top 10 in that one at 395. Uh, some notables in there. Greg Raymer making a nice run here. He is a 350. So the former world champion looking to try and uh, pick up another World Series of Poker bracelet. Uh, who's got Jennifer Shotty? Of course, got off to a nice day one. She is a 285. Uh, let's see who else we have in uh, some notables here. Darren Rabinowitz at 241. And, of course, uh, Darren Stabinski was on the show yesterday if uh, you missed it. Darren, Darren had a tough day today, by the way. I brutal but he's a great player in this but i think stabs is headed over to the uh planet hollywood to play a little bit uh who else we have in there scott davies jason less bart labert uh, john gale in there with 175,000. alan kessler 159 john freeberg 147 so freeberg yeah we haven't heard that name for a while on yon leaderboard and uh chris ferguson bagged 130 had 138 uh, going today so pretty interesting group of crazy eight players of course 168 players still standing in that one and so we head into day two on that pardon me thank you nothing like sneezing on air that's fun but uh, the crazy eights uh, will be wrapping up tomorrow hopefully but the structure structure has played pretty well for everybody should be should be done tomorrow i would think so that's uh, where we are at the World Series of Poker right now. Pretty, uh, you know, the schedule kind of winding down as we get to the 4th of July. Only one tournament uh, bracelet event starting off tomorrow. And then uh, we get into all sorts of fun stuff. We'll look at that schedule in just a little bit. And we'll also take a look at the player year race in just a little while. So we'll give you some more updates and everything happened in the series. See who's flying around here. But let's get our first commercial break in and out of the way. So that's finished up. So uh, let's hit that commercial, and we will be right back here on the Mark Hoke Show live at the World Series of Poker. Thanks for being with us today as you enjoy your 4th of July weekend. We'll see you on the other side of the break. 
It's the dream of every poker player to play in the biggest events in the world or to have a piece of their favorite championship players. Now, with Ustake.com, that dream can become a reality. Ustake.com offers you a chance to put up staking packages for the events that you want to play or buy pieces of top professionals for as little as $20. Using a safe and secure payment and payout process, all transactions are done with full transparency so you know where your investments are and that they're handled properly. And the best part is anyone can participate at Ustake.com from the amateur to the top poker pro. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for free at Ustake.com and get in on the exciting poker action now. Sign up now using promo code Mark Hoke Show. One entry for signing up and earn another entry when you back a play. It's sports staking simple and secure. Ustake.com If you're into sports cards and memorabilia, you have got to check out Brickus Breaks. Very much like a poker tourney, you buy into a break and have a shot to get autographed jerseys and sports cards. Score unbelievable collectibles in heart-stopping fashion from one of the most trusted names in poker, Josh Brickus. Josh Brickus. Use code WSOP for $5 off any group break in the store. Check it out at joshbrickus.com. And follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Brick is break, so don't wait. Make your sports collecting dreams come true today with Brick is Breaks. We've all had that incredible poker ad we wanted to tell our friends about. The Share My Pair app is how to do it. Share My Pair is new and improved with remarkably faster hand entry, streamlined app navigation, updated graphics, plus more flexibility in managing notifications. Just enter your hand information and instantly create an engaging poker hand animation that you can seamlessly post and share on Twitter and Facebook. Use Share My Pair to learn from top pro players Phil Hellmuth, Greg Raber, Jonathan Lee, Little for Roz Jucka and others who use the app to share their most interesting, instructional, and memorable hands. Get Share My Pair for free in the App Store and now in Google Play for Android. And visit ShareMyPair.com. Play it, post it, share it at ShareMyPair.com. The WSOP is back again. Is your poker game better than it was last year? Here's two-time bracelet winner and lead instructor at thepokeracademy.com, Rep Porter. A simple way to really improve your tournament game is to get better at accumulating chips. When you have a healthier stack, it's easier to run deeper, it's easier to cash, it's easier to make the final table, and most importantly, you're going to win more money. We have a great free eight-part video series that will help you consistently build a bigger chip stack. We call it our Chips as Weapon series. Get your free videos at thepokeracademy.com slash mark. That's thepokeracademy.com slash Mark. The heat is on. Whether you're in a major poker tournament, out on the golf course, sweating it up at the gym, or keeping the kids cool on a hot summer day, stay cool with a brand new Arctic Blue Cooling Towel, which is officially licensed by NASCAR. Just wet your reusable and durable Arctic Blue Cooling Towel in cold water, and you'll have instant cooling relief at your fingertips for up to five hours. It's lightweight and pliable, so you can keep it handy wherever you are. Plus, it's absorbent enough to make sure you and your clothes stay dry while you you stay cool. So get the same cooling towel used by professional athletes, top sportsmen, poker players, EMT, and the drivers of NASCAR today. Things are heating up everywhere. So don't wait. Visit ArcticBLU.com today. Enter the discount code Mark Hope Show and get an incredible 50% discount for all loyal listeners of the Mark Hope Show. It's like the Arctic Blue Bear says, it's not cool to be hot. So pick up your Arctic Blue cooling towel today. This is Jim Feist in fabulous Las Vegas. If you're serious about winning and getting armed with information, free stats, videos, and top plays at jimfeist.com. Plus, free picks daily. Just dial 1-888-294-1970. That's 1-888-294-1970. Or text GAME to 25827, and we'll send you free plays right to your cell phone. Beat the books with the Vegas pros each and every day. 1-888-294-1970. Or go to jimfeist.com. Tax time is upon us again, and whether you're a poker player, a gambler, or just want to have a reputable accounting firm in your corner, look no further than Condler & Associates CPAs. Based right here in Las Vegas, Condler & Associates CPAs specialize in gambling taxation and ensure your returns are prepared properly. Firm owner Raymond Condler 
is an avid poker player and has been providing tax services to gamblers for over a decade. They'll assist you in areas such as determining if you're a professional gambler, calculating estimated tax payments, preparing your 1099s, foreign bank account reporting, and properly logging your gambling winnings, losses, and expenses. You've seen Convler & Associates CPAs at their booth at the World Series of Poker. Now come see them in person. For your free consultation, call 702-433-7075. That's 702-433-7075. Or visit www.pokercpa.com to set up your appointment today. So don't attempt taxes on your own. Bet Condler & Associates CPAs. Want more of The Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. The best in poker news, entertainment, and more. This is The Mark Hoke Show. And we are back on The Mark Hoke Show. We're live here at the World Series of Poker. I scared Alma. I didn't try it, really. You're looking at the fan cam like there's Ace. Say a wave Ace. There you go, a little dance. Thank you. Oh, God. You went off screen, goofball. That's all right. Ace McFarlane from the World Series of Poker School of Poker. I just get to see all the that. This is the stuff that happens. I don't know if we got a trip on the uh, on the fan cam yet. Because for those that have never been here, when you look at that that the circular area that's on the screen right now, those are actually raised up as Barry Levy. Uh, those are actually raised up a little bit. And people kind of get all caught off guard a little bit. I've tripped on that before. I think the first time here I, I punted a little bit. It's never a good thing. But like I say, you can see all your friends, neighbors, and some of the greats of the game. And some of the not-so-greats in the game flying around here at the WSOP on that fan cam. We have a lot of fun with that. Uh, we're back on air there. And, uh, hey, i got to remind everybody because we kind of... I kind of shorted some people yesterday on some of our sponsor stuff. Uh, so just real quick, hey, we remind everybody the PPC Poker Tour rolls into Tampa Bay Downs coming up here in uh, actually less than a week. Or actually, no, about a week and a half, excuse me. Uh, going to be down there for the PPC North America Championship. Uh, that's going to be, got a $100,000 guaranteed on that. Of course, all those tournaments lead right to Aruba, including there's an OFC tournament in there. Oh, pineapple, excuse me, OFC Pineapple, pardon me. Oh, God, I don't want to blog it. I'm so scared. That's a lot of cards to type. <laughs> and anybody knows that when, when I blog it, I do it right. Oh, that's going to cause a lot of pain. It's going to be ugly. But it should be a terrific event. we got a Jesse Heckler Foundation uh, charity tournament going on there as well. And, of course, uh, we're going to be sending some players to Aruba. It's going to be exciting. We'd love to see it down there at Tampa Bay Downs. Also, following that event, the PPC goes two ways as we're going to be headed up to Ho-Chunk in Wisconsin. And then also we will be at Naples Fort Myers as well. And I'll tell you, the Naples Fort Myers stop. I was just up at Ho-Chunk. That's a great stop. I had so much fun at Naples Fort Myers. And if you're in Florida, I mean, you know, pretty decent time of year to go, you know, right on the beach, you know, a lot of golf and all sorts of great stuff going on. So we'd love to have you join us uh, there. Raymond freaking Davis. Raymond, what's going on with you? I'm on the air, by the way. You know that, right? Yeah, just give me a thumbs up. Why are you only playing one orbit with Alan Kessler? I heard you're only playing one orbit with Alan Kessler. What's up with that? Come on. We were trying to arrange the Raymond Davis Alan Kessler team for the uh, tag team event coming up on Wednesday here at the World Series. Raymond said he's only playing one orbit. That's unbelievable. So. Don't know if it's going to happen, but yeah, Kessler can maybe pick up another cash. Uh, but anyway, once again, join us for the PPC Poker Tour. We'd love to have you come out. Go to ppcpokertour.com. BlueRail.net, Bob Lesk and the team doing a great job taking care of our website, our email, all that fun stuff. Check them out today at BlueRail.net. They're going to take care of you. Give Bob a call there and uh, visit BlueRail.net. How far do you want to go? Action Junkie Poker. Yep, over here, right there. There they are. You can kind of see them there. 
Action Junkie Poker. These guys do a terrific job training their players. Uh, also, a fantastic, you know, some fantastic gear coming out too. I'm telling you, if you follow them on Facebook, all you see is people taking their chip stacks and, ooh, and they're like, ooh, and then everybody's happy. So that's what you do with Action Junkie Poker. Check them out. Uh, you know, they'll come out and help you out live. And of course, all sorts of online forums and everything else. Real family atmosphere in the Iron Sharpens Iron Training Method. Go to Action Junkie Poker. Dot com. Our good friends, Black Eagle Sound Design. You hear John Lindquist and the team all the time on these commercials, our opens, all that fun stuff. Make sure you get you know, voice work done. You know, like Ace has presentations he needs done for the World Series of Poker School of Poker. All he has to do is call Black Eagle Sound Design and get John Lindquist and the team on the double to help him out. Let's go to blackeaglesounddesign.net. Our good friends... I, I mentioned, I'm, I'm plugging you all over the place, buddy. Um, our good friends at Stark Energy Drink. Man, that stuff is fantastic. And... You know, if you become a franchisee with Stark Energy, you pay two ninety nine and you get one hundred and forty four cans of Stark Energy oh, drink. Wow, that's freaking wow. amazing! This is my favorite part of the show, you know. Yeah, this is fun. I'm only doing half of these, uh, but, but uh, and of course you can buy some too. Go to StarkNoLimits dot com backslash Mark Hoke Show. You can buy some today or become a franchisee. It's pretty cool. And our good friends at Conler and Associates. Ace will step out for a second. It's pretty fun. Uh, they are right over there. Ray and the team are sitting right over there in that booth. Just across the way. And a um, little, little, little nervous there. That was kind of odd. Someone was stooping around under my uh, the fan cam and the table over there. All right. Uh, but, hey, if you need any the best in gambling taxes, they are the experts. Go to Conler & Associates. Check out Conler & Associates at PokerCPAs.com. And Ray and the team are going to take fantastic care of you. He and Zach do a, a wonderful job. They have been doing this for years and years. They are the best in the business, and you're going to be happy you did. Go to PokerCPA.com. And we got to mention off till poker tables. We have that brand-new coffee table poker table. Sir, isn't that table beautiful? Thank you. See, everybody agrees. That coffee table is amazing. And it's far better than the one down the hallway. I'm just going to say that. I was just looking at that. It doesn't look quite as good. See, as mine's freaking awesome. Well, Brian did purple felt and everything. Purple felt. Is that, it, you took the words right out of my mouth. It's sexy. And Brian not only not only builds those coffee tables, which you do, sell them for five ninety nine. That's it? That's it. With a custom felt and rail and everything. But, of course, he does the big ones, too, and the RFID tables, anything that you need. And blackjack tables, cool, all sorts of nice stuff. RFD might be fun to have. Yeah, well, I've got one. All you have to do is rent it out, Ace. Anyway, special. yeah, well, I am a very special person. Uh, go, go, go to offtiltpokertables.com right now. Right now. Say hi to Brian, not in the team, and give him a call today. So there we go. That's a, that. We're done with that for the moment. And look what happened. You read the read, the read and look what shows up. Man, you know. It's I'm, like magic. I'm the best in the f in business. It's, the, it's magic. I am the best. And you still have that Greg Raymer glass. That's really That awesome. is not a Greg Raymer glass. <laughs> Oh, it's Dan Highmiller. That's right. No, it's not Dan Highmiller. It's like Dan Highmiller. No! <laughs> Damn you to hell, Ace. This is, the, this is the dreaded Frosted Stein. I changed the camera angle a little bit, and I'm liking where I put it here. You know, and, and you can see the, the Frosted Stein. You've got the World Series logo on it, and you can get your picture on it right over there with thewaymarketing.com. If you've been here at the World Series, your pictures are up there, or you can come out and you know, let them know that where you're sitting. And they'll take a ton of extra pictures for you, so you have your choice as opposed to like one or two. I have one picture from not from them, but I have one picture from 2013. One picture of me sitting at a table. What'd you play one hand? Is that because that's all they could I get? I came in second in the circuit event. Oh, wow! How many entries were there? Two. Four hundred and forty-eight. Okay. I have a circuit event final table too. I got hosed. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna hold on to that for a long time. Yeah, you should. <laughs> you definitely should. Ace, what's going on with you, brother? You got your booth for the World Series of Poker School of Poker. How's it going? Just living the dream here right now. Just living the dream. Getting work done. Uh, signed up a few people today because we have uh, Melanie Weisner and Annette Oberstadt. There's a mm -hmm. little lightning rod for you. There you go. I see. I add something to the show. I'm uh, gonna be doing uh, a <gasps> ladies' event July 6th, and um, it should be exciting. And we also have on July 6th, we, uh, 6th and 7th, we have a tune-up for the uh, main event. And our slogan is, if you're going to spend 10, 10K, why not spend $397 with us and let us fix the leaks in your roof? There you go. You know? That's how you do it. So that's, what, you know, that's what's going on right now. Who's, who's the instructors for that? Uh, we haven't gotten a uh, main event instructor yet. I mean, Joe. Oh, so Joe, it's me. Joe's been talking. And, oh, oh, Mr. Poker? Yeah, Mr. You're Poker. You're interested? Yeah, I'll do it. Wow, that could be interesting. 
that could be interesting. I can give great lectures about how to deal with the media. I mean, seriously, That's what I have Chad. For people, people don't know that. People don't know how to how to really do we interviews. We're actually going to have Chad do that for us, not on this one. Probably. Uh, the what about Anto me? The Antonio Esfandiari one on October twenty seventh wow. here at the Rio. I'm hurt. I mean, Mister Poker, you didn't inquire within. We didn't know. Chad inquired. Inquiring minds want to know. Whatever. I'll be on the road anyway. <laughs> no, but it's all good. But, yeah, I mean, so check it out. Go to – are you still at Zen Poker Mentoring, the website? Zen Poker Mentoring right now right. So until July 25th, so where it officially becomes the WSOP School of up? Poker. What's up, up? What's up, up? You know, there you go. I, I think you should record that. <laughs> I think you should get John Lindquist to record that for you. <laughs> what a great advertisement that would be. He can do the wasap sob. Oh my God! It's like the old Budweiser do, commercial. Do 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 do. Wasap sob. Wasap. 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 Oh my God. No. 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 We'll come up with some different music. Yeah, absolutely. Please. Do. Maybe put it back like Highway to Hell in there or something. That'd <laughs> well, be that all right. one that you had for me. What was it called? Ace. Oh, Ace is in the house. Ace is in the I house. wish I could play that. No, please don't play it again. I, I can't. But I'm we not might allowed. be able to use that. <laughs> Little sections. You know that was pretty good. Yeah, we we dug up the old song from the Ace Ventura movie at the, the end uh, with Tone Loke. You know, Ace is in the house for this guy. It's his yes. new theme song. But unfortunately, YouTube will flag me if I play it. <laughs> Guys, get over that copyright crap. That's so ridiculous. Jeez. Dude. Why do they put it out there if they don't want us to listen to it? I don't know. I just can't use it on my show. That's why I have to go to free broadcast music instead of, you know, mm -hmm. you know, getting, you know, like autograph or something going in the background. Wow. Wow. That was a dig, wasn't it? Well, eight, eight, so we have a bracelet winner already today. Uh, Lucky oh, really? Chewy. Lucky Chewy. No, finally bring one really. home. Finally bring one home. We got him on the show real quick. Gun. Isn't that great? Well, I was talking to him um, less than six months ago at the Bellagio. And we passed we passed each other uh, email addresses, and he was actually was supposed to get in contact with each other for him to work with us. Mm -hmm. And now he went out and won a bracelet. God bless him. Now yes. he can really work for us. You betcha. Which what event? Uh, he won the three K no limit. Oh wow, that's awesome. Good for him. Yep. I mean, it's not like he hasn't won anything before. He he won a major. Uh, didn't he win a major WPT? He's or? he's done his share of damage. Yeah, big yeah. some big cake. Yeah, he's all right. But uh, finally getting that bracelet off is a. Uh, off Good the back him. here. He's a handsome dude, too. Oh, and oh my goodness. We got an update on the 1500-hour mix PLO 8, Omaha 8, Big O. And Gavin Smith, I don't no, know what not. happened, but he got dropped in oh. fourth. Oh, okay. Whoa. I you... um, I'd have to look on the updates on this, but Gavin Smith is out and Cody Crouch is out. What Whoa. the hell happened? Gavin, Gavin was up 400,000 chips just a little while ago. Man, I got to look at the updates on WSOP.com. But they are heads up now, and Alan Lee and Philip Irish. Gavin Irish used that. He's been oh, that is for a shame. Quite a few years now. But uh, so we'll have a newly minted bracelet winner because Gavin was the only guy that had a bracelet out of that wow. group that returned yesterday. Yeah, I'm curious. Let's go to the updates and see what happened here, because there had to be a massive hand that took place. Uh, this Mr. Handsome now. Let's see. Where's the elimination hand? Yeah, it's not, not not up there yet. So we're we're waiting for uh, waiting for the news on what happened to Gavin Smith in that one. Because um, there's Ferreira going down. Uh, what else we got? Yeah. So we don't. Yeah, we don't have the hand update I'm yet. Smelling a bad but, beat. But they are. They, like I said they are listing Gavin Smith eliminated in fourth place. So. So there you go. All right. So Gavin busted. Oh, that sucks so bad. No offense to every, the other guys at the table, but that sucks really badly. Looks like he said flop two pair, and uh, the guy hung in there and caught his flush on the river. Ugh. Flushed him out. Ugh. So Gavin gone. Wow, that blows. So, hey, what's up? So Gavin Smith, no bracelet this time around, but uh, I'm, sure he'll, I'm sure he'll make another run. He's playing great. You know, and, you know got his life cleaned up and is taking yeah. care of the kids and you know playing single like dad now. It's been a few years. It's nice to see him back. Yeah. I like to see all the old school guys back. Yeah. It gives me hope. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe uh, maybe by the time you're 80, you'll win a bracelet. <laughs> Super seniors. <laughs> Super seniors? Super seniors. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I'm going to play the, the, the 1K after our last event on July 6th. There you go. On the, it's on the 7th, I think. 
And uh, there's Shannon Shore going by there, one of those guys who has, I think he's in the top four or five players of caches but never winning a bracelet. And he's an amazing player. That's stunning that he hasn't won one yet. But it just goes to show how tough it is it's to weird. win a World Series of Poker bracelet. It's, it's weird. It's a very coveted piece of jewelry. And it's weird how some people can pull them down like these guys have a couple this year each. And then people just cash and cash and cash and cash and cash and don't get it done. So yeah. it is. It's it's a strange bird. Yeah. Well, speaking of strange bird, you know what's uh you know what's coming up on Tuesday. Super Tuesday was uh, isn't that the anniversary of the seventeen thousandth edition of the Mark Hoke Show? Close. But yes, five it is, year anniversary. It is the five year anniversary of the show coming up, and uh, we want to of course invite everybody to stop down by the booth. Um, the, Finally, the big guy shirts are going to be. <laughs> I didn't do that. I did not do that. Um, but the big guy shirts are going to be here, so we're going to be giving away T-shirts. Um, I'm debating punch and pie. A punch and pie. Uh, punch or and pie. Get, or punch some pie. No, we're not going to punch any pie. No, punch and pie. Punch and but, pie. But we'll have some fun down what here. What pie would you get? Are you a blueberry guy? I love all sorts of pie. I, I'm not very discriminatory on pie. Wow. Okay. Not very. Nope, is Mr. All. Mike Sexton in the house? What is he? Really? Right there. See, there he goes. Mike yeah, Mike's pushing the, the, the book Life's a Gamble. I have not get to read my copy yet. He had a good line in it. What it was the line? The line was... Uh, some, Talk into the mic. Some men, some men come with money, and some men come with, with talent. The men that come with money... Oh, no, some men come with experience. So that's what it is. Some men come with money. Some men come with experience to the World Series. The men that come with money leave with experience. The men who come with experience leave with money. There you go. Very, that's out of his book. Very nice. Thank yeah. you, Mike. Yeah. And by the way, to the, uh, you know, there, there, there are little rat bastard thieves running around the World <laughs> Series. I've, I've occasionally had a, a, a Stark oh, Energy goodness. drink picked off. I had, oh, I had a God. mic set picked, which was the one that really chapped me. But. Somebody ripped off Nolan Dollar's autographed oh, copy of Mike that. Sexton's book now, right off Nolan's happen? desk. Off his desk, which Where's is his way desk? up Down there the in the hall? Amazon room. Oh, okay. He's up in the Amazon room where you know, right by the tables up there. And it's I mean a that's conspiracy. That, I mean, that's like I mean, you stealing something off Nolan Dollar's desk. That's pretty desk. bold. Man, I'll tell you what, oh, I hope cam. I hope they find them. <laughs> Nolan's calling for the fan or, uh, Ace is calling for the fan cam. Unbelievable. Fan cam. Why do you, you know, what? Uh, all right, uh, just for Ace. Just for Ace, we'll go fan cam for a second there you here. Go. Real quick, because he, he's calling for it. I guess it's for the 888 team over it's there. It's the Delta girls. No, it's for the 888 team. we got to say hi to them. Of course, Ruben Bressler doing all the social media for them, our good buddy on the show. But, yeah, that's Where's our... Ruben? He's not here, right? Uh, he's, he's, he's running around here somewhere. Ruben's here? Ruben? Yeah, yeah, he's back. Oh, yeah, he's doing covering the series for 888. I had talked to him. He said he wasn't going to be able to get here. Yeah, he's back. He is back. So, uh, whoops, wrong one. Let's uh, let's click on the correct one here. There we go. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, we're going to have a great time down here with that. Um, I should be ready to roll around 1030 here in the booth. And if not sooner, you could bring an espresso machine. I got a portable one. Get I'm everyone not, I'm jacked. Not, I'm not making ex espresso. If I want to get them jacked, they'll sell them some Stark Energy drink. You know, come on, man. He's going to make free Merchandising. Merchandising. That's oh, what so it's all about. you have 161 cans free. Is that right? No, I don't have them free. <laughs> no. No. But I still owe you three bucks for the last one. You do. I'm working it off. I'm working it off. Yeah. A dollar a show. Oh, fair enough. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it should be a great time down here. And I'll tell you what, I'm, you know, we're, we're not going to be on the air tomorrow for the 4th of July. So this is going to be our last show before the wow. big one. There's Alex Althred. Pretty prestigious. He's all he's all mudded up there. He need, he needed some help, I guess. I guess he's tag teaming with his dog on the in the uh, tur tag team tournament on Wednesday. I have no comments. I don't know, but but it, I mean seriously, that, I mean just so many great memories, and you know, I mean, there's been some rocky times too. I mean, you know, it's hasn't been easy putting this whole thing together over the years at times, and uh, you know, it's it's going to be. It should be a pretty sensational day, I hope. Absolutely. Maybe. Absolutely. Yeah, so uh, I, I wasn't there for all, all those years. I just had, you know, snuck in the last few. And I, I think it was pretty cool. Pretty good ride. Yeah, so far. 
And, and you, you don't plan on going yet. anywhere soon, right? No, not really. Oh, okay. No, I'm going to torture people for another few years, I think. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But well, When you uh, go into syndication and you sell the show, you can make millions. <laughs> millions. Millions. We'll, we'll see about One million dollars. That would be pretty fun. Working on it. Working on it. But I, but I, but seriously, I hope everybody will stop by and you know, I, I just as you know, so I can say thank you to everyone who supported the show. You know, it's funny. I was kind of going back through all my friends' lists and you know, just seeing all the names and you know, even you know the the people that are just doing very small things in the poker community that we've had on the show over the years. You know, it was like Tim Montjoy who does work with veterans and all sorts of you know, all sorts of names. It was just like wow. You know, yeah, I met Tim like four or five years ago. Yeah, He's great guy. Very active. Very active with the veterans in poker. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we don't. Mr. Gazes, how are you? Good. What's going on? Can, can I say hi to. Can, I wish you got you a second would. to say hi real quick? You want to help? I'm running into the tournament. But I'm okay. Gonna say, like, a hello. Okay. Today. Fair enough. Well. If I, if I, you know, we, you know where we're going to go. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'm on the air right now. Uh, what do you think your presumptive nominee is? My presumptive nominee? Which one is that? <laughs> you know. Oh, he's trying to get me out on Trump here. He's trying to get me going on Trump. I think it's going to be some, it's going to be some quality entertainment. It's going to be some quality entertainment. Yeah, you too, buddy. Yeah, Billy Gaze. Last time, last time I heard he was down in Brazil or something. I was trying. What was he trying to get you out on? He's trying to get me talking Trump. I'm not. I'm not getting into that. Issue here. Oh, let's. Yeah. <laughs> Please, politics and religion. Let's just stay, stay away. with the polka. We can joke about it every once in a while, which we do on our KSHP show. But yeah, is that what was going on with Nate yesterday on Facebook? Don't even no. Don't even start. I don't even know what that D was about. Don't worry about. It. We, we, <laughs> oh, we're boy. not going to talk about. It. Okay. But but anyway, seriously, come down to the booth uh, for the fifth anniversary show. We would be thrilled to have you here. Um, you know, it's going to be fun. And I'll probably cry. I'm guessing wow. I'm probably gonna cry. I hope we have a we have a GoPro or something to video it. Oh, oh, are we gonna have a special? Uh, yes, yes, like a, 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 a Michael cam. Jordan, Michael yeah, Jordan cry, cry cam. cam. Yeah, I'm cry sure. Cam. Tear cam. And if you can't make it, we're gonna have the Skype open too. Uh, two ways you can get in touch with us there uh, at it's Mark Hook fifty one fifty. Okay, very. You, you know what? You know what fifty one fifty is. Fifty one fifty. There's, there's two two significances on that. I'm not gonna. Well, no. 5150, of course, is the police band number for criminally insane. Oh, jeez. No, I did not know but, that. But more for me is the uh, 5150 Van Halen album. Okay. Of that of that name. So pretty good. You guys listen to Jack there. Heffel? Yeah. Um, On the fan cam? So we'll have that. Uh, we'll have that. Um, have that open, and you can also call in on that too at 702-997-2425, and we'll give that wow, number. Call and show. Yeah, so that's exciting. Yeah, so I mean, I'm sure it's going to be just people buzzing in here from start to finish. You know, that show may not end until ten o'clock. I don't know. We'll find out. Of course, maybe nobody will show up, and I'll be eating all punch and pie by myself. You never know with me, you know. And it's either love or hate. I think it's, it's mostly be, love. I think it's going to be a love fest. Yeah, so it'll be a lot of fun. Plus, I have some pictures, and maybe I'll dump on Facebook, you know, some memorable pictures of you. Oh, great. That you might not like, but what do I care? <laughs> oh, good. It's good publicity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh-oh, we got something going on. Uh-oh. 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 It's, it's my lady, Tarina. Okay, I'll call you back. We, we, we haven't seen this lady in a while. Hi. She, she's been hiding. Can I get Tarina on the show here Please real quick? Do. No? Oh, God, you look beautiful. <laughs> They're poker players. They dig that. Oh, that's too bad. God, I really wanted to get you out of here, but no. <laughs> I want to get out of here so damn bad. Yeah, but you can't walk away. You love no, it too darn no, much. I can't. Of course not. You don't. All right. Well, so well, Tarina Dark's in the house, so you guys can stop by the booth and you know start drooling mm -hmm. over her. That's why we have the fan cam on. Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's take another break, and we come back. We'll continue You'll rambling have about young nothing. Lady, not me. Yeah. All right. So well, you can stay. We're out. I just have to do a commercial. Shut the mic off. We'll shut the mic off and do a commercial. Fan cam going back up. We will take a break, and we'll be right back here more live from the World Series Boker. We'll keep an eye on that uh, Omaha tournament down to two, so we should have another bracelet we're going to crown here in just a little while. Should be something special. So stick around. We'll be right back. 
the PPC Poker Tour continues an incredible 2016 as Season 4 rolls on. June features two great events as we hit the Isle Casino in Pompano Beach, Florida with a $110,000 guaranteed tournament June 13th through the 16th and a $200,000 guaranteed event at Foxwoods Resort Casino in Connecticut June 24th through the 26th and July features the PPC North America Championship at Tampa Bay Dow, July 14th through the 24th, with a $100,000 guaranteed main event, plus other great stops at Naples, Fort Myers, Florida, and Ho-Chunk in Wisconsin. And of course, all roads lead to the PPC Aruba World Championship in November. For more information, go to ppcpokertour.com, ppcpokertour.com, and get in on the action. We are the Players Poker Championship Poker Tour. Your business and promotion will only go as far as your website will take you. That's why the Mark Hoke Show has only trusted one name for over two years. BlueRail.net Whether you need custom website design and development packages or simply need a host for your website, BlueRail is the only developer to turn to. It's time to discover the world-class personalized service only the BlueRail team can provide. Visit us at BlueRail.net Net and call 520-822-5128 right now for your free consultation today. So get on board at BlueRail.net. How far do you want to go? You can't walk around the World Series of Poker without seeing someone wearing 3-bet clothing. It's super comfortable and stylish, and their stuff looks amazing. The incredible team of pros who wear 3-bet hats, hoodies, tees, and more are a who's who in poker. All-time greats like Phil Hellmuth, Jonathan Little, Doc Sands, Brian Rast, Jason Goon, Scott Clements, Ben Tullery, Jeff Gross, and of course, Antonio Esfandiari are all proudly wearing the 3 Three bet brand. They wear three bet clothing because they know that being comfortable and feeling confident is crucial to winning on and off the table. Three bet.com has shipped thousands of orders worldwide. And with new lower prices, it's time for you to join the three bet team, just like the pros, and receive 10% off with the promo code radio. Make that right call and feel like a pro at three bet.com. Need to get the extra edge in your poker game but can't find the answers? Action Junkie Poker is your solution. The junkies will train you to take your poker game to levels you never thought possible. Action Junkie Poker works together with you every day with one goal in mind. To help you win. Their unique Iron Sharpens Iron Training Method features 24-7 support. Live, on-site, and group training. Over 300 hours of coaching content. Group chat. And a true family action. Atmosphere, making sure you can't go wrong with Action Junkie Poker. Plus, they even have the gear to help you look the part as well. For more information on Action Junkie Poker, call 702-859-7676. 702-859-7676. And visit actionjunkiepoker.com right now. We coach. We sell gear. We create game killers. Action Junkie Poker. I know what you're thinking. Why would I need a voiceover production company? Does your company need a commercial for radio or television? Are you looking to do an audiobook or web presentation? Then you need a voiceover production company. Black Eagle Sound Design is home to some of the finest voice actors, producers, and engineers in the business. Log on now to BESD.US and find out more. Black Eagle Sound Design will be there with you and your project every step of the way. On time, on target, and at a price you can afford. Visit us at BESD.US. Looking for an energy drink that can amp you up and get your body performing at its max capacity? The search is over. Stark Energy is here. This proprietary blend, including turmeric and glucosamine, is packed with inflammation fighters. And its unique formula will help you maximize your workouts and daily activities. Stark Energy's all-in-one blend will continue to provide energy while supplying a recovery element to a post-workout regime. It's all natural with zero carbs and only five calories. Uses 
is all natural stevia sweetener and has less caffeine than a cup of coffee. So what are you waiting for? Visit StarkNoLimits.com backslash Mark Hoke Show right now. Try one today. Energize and punish the pain with Stark Energy. Want more of The Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. Now, let's return to The Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. Of course, you're looking at the fan cam there, not for long, because it's time to put, well, the two sexiest people around on the air. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that Tarina's a little prettier than you. Just a little bit. She's, she's kind of hiding over there. She doesn't want to say anything. So you guys just get to stare at Tarina Dark. We haven't had her on the show for a while. We miss you. You really don't want to talk. Hey, Sarah. No, 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 no. Hi. Not right now. Not right now. I need to catch my breath. She's got to catch her breath. All right, we'll do that. But, uh, wow. Hey, we just checked out that update on that Omaha tournament. And, wow, the blood spilled. That was unbelievable. Let me, uh, let me pull that back up here real quick. Give you that update on what happened to Gavin Smith because that went from four players to done. Done in a matter of minutes. That's what happens in Omaha. It's just, it's just, it's deadly. It really is. Uh, where is it? It's there it is. So uh, they were playing Big O. Uh, Gavin raised to 120. Alan Lee uh, re raised to 375. Crouch and uh, Ir- Irish. I keep, I, I'm sure I'm saying that name wrong. Folded. Smith called uh, 10 8 4 flop with two spades. Smith potted to 825. Lee went all in and Smith called. So most of the chips are on the line in this. Uh, Gavin has top and bottom pair. Uh, Lee shows the nut flush draw and a low draw. And a seven of spades comes on the river, knocks Gavin out of the tournament, and put Lee up to 4.2 million. And he just ran it from there. Uh, Cody Crouch was quickly eliminated by Lee, and then uh, he finished it, Lee finished it off. So just like that, Alan Lee, in a matter of a couple of hands, went from four-handed, trailing Gavin Smith, to putting some gold on the wrist. So sick. I know you don't want to say anything. It was pretty sick. But uh, congratulations to Alan Lee as he wins his first World Series of Poker bracelet. And I believe that was his uh, officially his 30th cash in WSOP. So a couple guys uh, getting the getting the monkeys off their back at this World Series. Of course, uh, we just had uh, Lucky Chewy win his bracelet coming back for an extra day. And now Alan Lee has finished it off as well. But uh, wow. But it's it got to be a disappointment for Gavin coming up a little bit short on now and finishing in fourth place. But wow, this has just been it, guns ablazing today. Uh, Robert Mizraki, by the way, is leading the... 5k or 50k poker players championship is rocky now up to 655,000. he's passed scott siever uh, zeno is now in third and jason mercier is looking for bracelet number three in this series has now slid up to fourth place so mercier looking to get into contention as well here at the world series of poker oh player of the year race you know i got to pull that one up we didn't even get to take a look at that yet so of course we're into we're getting close to the end of this darn shindig only a couple weeks to go tarina yeah, I'm flying right out of here to Tampa. Not even going to blink an eye. It's going to be pretty terrible. Uh, but let's get the, uh, in a good way, though. It'll be fun. Uh, but let's take a look at the 2016 GPI World Series of Poker Player of the Year rankings. And, of course, you know we had said uh, Gordinsky won this with the new system at about 2,200 points. Mercier has already racked up a little over 2,100 as soon as this loads for me. Uh, he is, And he is running away with this. He is about, what, 800, uh, you know, 700 plus points ahead of Benny Glazier. Uh, Mercier has cashed now 
10 times here. I believe that's 10. I'll make sure we'll slide this down here real quick just to make sure. Get a fast count on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten caches for Jason Mercy at this World Series of Poker. Unbelievable. Uh, 36, 30th, 398 out of 69, 27, 26, 11th, 8th, 1st, 2nd, 1st, and 35th. Scoring a lot of money. Just a lot of money. But if he can get that other bracelet, he's going to win even more money taking down the three bracelet bet. So Mercier, 10 caches out in front. The double bracelet winner, Benny Glazer, is in second right now. Um, and he's got six caches on the board. But Glazer trying to find a miracle. He's going to, he would need one to catch Jason at this point. And Max Silver. Silver has not won a bracelet in this World Series. Uh, but he does have nine caches. None of them over 10th, and he's in third place in the World Series of Poker Player of the Year standings. That's pretty shocking. Pretty shocking. Michael Gathy is in third, in fourth, and he has won a bracelet and has two seconds and a 12th. Stands in fourth place, but he only has four caches. So uh, Stephen Chidwick is up there in fifth. Sir Watts in sixth. Randy Old. None of those guys have won a bracelet. Elia Lesra is shot up to eighth. He has not won a bracelet. Martin Kozlov, uh, I believe Kozlov has won one this year. Yeah, he did. He won uh, the event 39. Kozlov in ninth, and Lauren Klein rounds out the top 10. But Jason Mercier is just clobbering everybody here at the World Series of Poker. Tyrion just looks so lonely over there, I swear. So forlorn, but it's okay. It's all right. we'll, be, uh, we'll be wrapping this thing up soon. But So the player of the year race right now is all Jason Mercier. It's going to be darn hard to catch him, to say the least. If Jason, especially if Jason has a big run in the 50K, might as well lock it up right now. It's that's going to be over. Uh, any more updates here, real quickly? So we had event 55, uh, the 1500 still registration open. Rex Clean Scales up to 56,000. Very nice. Oh, uh, we have a whoa! We have a big new chip leader in the Crazy Eights tournament with 136 to go. Francis Anderson from Poughkeepsie, New York has cleared the million chip mark. He is uh, at 1.1 million. Uh, Anderson looking, has 10 caches here at the World Series of Poker. Uh, Francis Anderson is now your leader here in the Crazy Eights. Brian McKinney at 760, Ryan Hall 630, Vlad Dari at 532, and Matthew Wandman at 530. Lonnie Harwood also over the half million mark at 515. So that's where that one is right now. Here at the WSOP. Wow. So a lot of exciting stuff happening here. Of course, so once again tomorrow, uh, let's take a look at that schedule. Uh, it is the 4th of July, and we will have one tournament for a bracelet kicking off. Uh, that is going to be the $1,000 no limit hold. we got 30-minute levels, so that thing is going to fly right by tomorrow. Uh, Two-day event, so someone will be missing their fireworks tomorrow night. Um, and then uh, coming back on... Uh, Tuesday, $5,000 No Limit Hold'em, that's event number 59, and the $1,500 seven card stud, high, low, eight, or better, your events for Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we will be having the $1,000 Tag Team Tournament and the 25K High Roller Pot Limit Omaha. Thursday, $1,000 No Limit Hold'em, 3K Pot Limit Omaha High Low, and then the $10,000 Ladies Championship starting off on Friday plus the online uh, bracelet event. High Roller also on Friday gets rolling the $111,000, $1,100 one drop, and then the main event gets started on Saturday, July 9th. So we are less than a week away from the chase for the world title in 2016. Should be pretty exciting. Big week coming up here. Wow. Oh, geez. That's, uh, yeah, let's, uh, oh, and Carlos Loving of all people has knocked me off the wow he's knocked me off the air i don't even know what to do tarina could you grab that camera please oh my god i was just saying today that no one has hit the camera all world series hi <laughs> yeah that's great carlos loving everyone hanging on a masseuse I don't suppose, Tarina, you wouldn't mind fixing that a little bit for me, would you? Would you be a sweetheart? 
please? That's a new angle. We'll 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 we'll, we'll turn it around so we can kind of. Yeah, it's kind of it's he managed to knock it off the screw and everything. All right, whoa, hey now. This is going to be a disaster. Carlos Loving, everybody. Carlos Loving. It's sort of. It's here. I'll turn it. We'll, we'll, we'll get that reset. We were just going to wrap the show up, too. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll sit like that. It, uh, don't worry about it. We we're we're going to wrap up anyway. Yeah, well, it, it, he knocked it, somehow he managed to knock it off the screw there. So that has to come out. It's it's pretty much. Oh, oh Tarina's looking at. It's all right. Just point it at me close enough. We'll be okay. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, hey! It's a crazy, crazy show. Crazy show. Nope. Oh, there's the Mark Hoke show banner. Yeah, I know. You gotta. It, don't worry about. It. Just lay it on there. We're we're still on air there, sweetie. So I think I think with that, we're gonna we're gonna call it a show. We're getting there. A disaster here at the World Series of Poker, but wow! So thank you, Carlos Loving, for destroying the show. But uh, hey, I want to thank Lucky Chewy for stopping in, and uh, our good buddy Ace McFarland from the World Series of Poker School of Poker for popping in on the show. A big congrats to Lucky Chewy for winning that World Series of Poker bracelet. Big win for him, and Alan Lee also taking one home as well. So that's going to do it for us, I think. Guys, we will see you on Tuesday for the fifth anniversary show. Hopefully, Carlos will not run over our camera. But please join us at the booth. We'll be here from starting at 10.30 a.m. Actually, I'll probably be. I mean, I'll be here sooner. But uh, the official party won't get started until about 10.30. Uh, we will see you guys next time on the Mark Hoke Show. Have a great afternoon. Enjoy your 4th of July. Be safe. Be smart. Don't drink. Don't hold fireworks in your hand. No Jean-Pierre Pauls or anything like that. And I want to see you down here on Tuesday for the fifth anniversary show. Have a great afternoon, everybody, and we will see you next time on the Mark Hoke Show. Have a great day.